fact is, we got to get into a situation strategically where we're able to execute things to maintain the actual security and viability of what we uh, exist for. I mean, again, we have to get down to some mundane, practical things. And there's no other, there's nothing else you can implement better than moral science. Trust me, I try. Like, you know, I've, I've approached many different things with the intent that, okay, I'm going to utilize what's attractive. I'm going to utilize what's pro what, what could be properly adapted, what could be properly applied, and I'm going to move with that. And the only thing that you can apply properly with synchronicity is moral science and application and nationality. Because you know, nationality is a is a is, you know people think that when they deal with the cosmos, you know, you know the space cadets out there. Uh, number one, the planet's a ship itself. That's why it's a female. No ships are female, but it's in space. We're already in space. So you keep looking. At, you keep saying outer space. We're in space. In space so, right now. As we you know speak. What I'm we're in it. So the fact is, if you got beings coming from different, you know, places in space, <clears throat> then what makes you think they're not gonna have laws and government? Don't you watch Star Trek? Don't you watch Star Wars? Don't you watch the movies? Like, you know, I mean, unless you're talking about some HP Lovecraft stuff. You know, you know, you're pretty much talking about something that's going to have government in order. Even Flash Gordon, they're talking about things, imperial law. Like, I mean, these are literal things that they can just look at, see, because art imitates life. So, with whatever they put in a movie, whether it's true or not, is the fact that it's a representation of <clears throat> some of their scholars' thoughts. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the whole fact is, people should approach everything with the understanding that it has to have order to it, or some kind of structure. Then you'll start to understand that not everything's and not everybody's the same thing or the same person. You start to understand the technicalities of things. This is why I always give the example of, you know, whether it's a, you know, a DVD player, a laptop, whatever, something that breaks or malfunctions or get dysfunctional. Only a technician can fix it. <clears throat> if you're not technically applying, you know, the solution to the problem, then you're really not doing anything. You're not really, you know, trying to remedy the situation because all you're doing is complaining about it. You know, one of the things people gotta take into account is when you get serious about doing things, you're gonna to have to just deal with some very technical and basic things. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's very important for people to understand what business is because if people understand understood businesses, 75% of the whole problem can be solved. <clears throat> just with standard proper business principles. You're like, you don't even gotta be a good person. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't. If you do good, business, everybody you do good business with would like you. That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Credibility. Without a shadow of a doubt. Bottom line. Credibility. Why do you think there's so many Albians who be serial killers and, 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 and doing all kind of weird, lewd stuff, but nobody knew because everybody they did business with loved how they did business. So that could just solve the problem, 75% of the problem. So while we're talking about that 75% of the problem, <clears throat> which is 75% of the solution being, you know, business ownership, entrepreneurship, some basic things, being industrious, you know, and all of the all of the complaints that could be made about whether or not things are about to end. Well, who's gonna be here to make money off when things are here? <laughs> After they reshape and form, you don't think they've thought about it? You don't think they're planning that? 
do you think the planet's not going to be here anymore? Like, the planet's been here billions and billions of years. Like, it's asinine to think that the planet's just going to not be no more. <laughs> you know, that's so funny, though. Yo, know, when you... When, <laughs> Yo, know, when you're gauging their mindsets, like you, I mean, you see that that's their thoughts. Like, I can't make it. I just want yeah. the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we can get off this plane. We can get off this plane. This is an illusion. The white man could drop a bomb over you. Look how destructive you uh -huh. think. Like, yo, this uh -huh. is what they're starting to say. It went from they can shoot you just like any other nigga or Negro too. The white man could drop a bomb on you. And then claim you got an eye on yourself. <laughs> I mean, look at the two signs we got That's today. Look at the two signs we got today. When we left and when we was on our way back. When we left, we got this Islam from a moor. Now, when we seen him, this is, yo, know, when we seen him, you know, coming up the street, we didn't think that he would give us an Islam, mm -hmm. but he, he don't, did. He don't, look, he don't look like the type who be cognizant of him uh, of being a Moor. And that's, this is what I mean. A lot of people don't know that they're Moors. <clears throat> look at the sign we got on the way home at the train station, on our way out and on our way home. It was like a book, a bookend. Yeah, Islam knows. Elder, an elder this time. It's Islam, it's Moor. Mm -hmm. Islam, like, in a real humble, you know what I mean? In a humble, like, I'm glad to see y'all here. I'm glad y'all here, like, we've been waiting. I mean, like, we've been waiting. They just, yo, you got people that seen really, you know what I mean, Moors today on the train. And like, for the first time, and they was looking. It was charity work. And they was looking. We could have rolled up there with the but we did. That's right, that's right. You have to mingle with the with the thieves and the quarters. Yo, a lot of just turning on a lot of the bootleggers and the you know what I mean, the hand over fist. Yo, what the Australian lady did, what the Albion did. I mean, you know, y'all had walked. Yeah, I dipped in a store, but I didn't expect to, you know, be in there, you know, for that many minutes. Me and Osa. So while I'm in there, I see a Hindu dude. What I said, you don't remember me? <laughs> I said, you don't remember me? <laughs> I was like, we met many ages ago. <laughs> he said, I taught you. Uh, <laughs> he said, you don't remember us. <laughs> oh, he had him. He had him. Go in, let me know. I need to hear. You don't remember? Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Straight Hold on. No, no, he just was looking like. Hold on. Hold on. It, it almost seemed as if what, he had shame on What you face. hit him with? It, it, you got to tell the people what you hit him with. I said, um, you know, you don't remember me? I said, we met. He said, no. I said, but we've met many ages ago. I said, I taught you sciences and things. It was just, he went back to, you know, going back. He just like had a look on his face like, almost like if he remembered a little bit. <laughs> but he was intentionally trying to block it out. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, you know, I said, we're going to meet again. That's what it is. I said, we're going to meet again. You know, I was saying some other oh, things yeah. in, in between. It's the way he's Yeah, with the pictures, though. <laughs> Did you get with the pictures? He, really he comes out the like, store. Like, he met him before. He was like, I met you before. Straight <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. up. Dude was like, see. Now you make a person think, maybe I did meet you before. So he did that. He, he said, said yeah. yeah, he's like, I met you ages ago. That's right. That's right. <laughs> no, that's real, so he comes out the store. So now we like, all right, did they go to the building? So Osa, like, nah, they, I think they bust the left. I, well, I'm not, I don't think he said he think. I said, yo, they bust the left. So we bust the left. You know what I mean? We walk. So I just hear this voice. Excuse me. Can I take your photograph, please? So the brands, oh, European, Australian. She's from Australia. She pull out that professional safari, you know, when they're doing yeah, nature. Shot. You know what I mean? Nature <laughs> shots for National Geographic. She pulled out one of those cameras. She just 
She said, can I get one with you two looking at each other? I'll just stay looking at the camera. <laughs> yeah. I said, now we're going to take one and he's going to look at the camera and I'm going to look at you. <laughs> and then I tried to get a third one with us looking at each other. Mm -hmm. Like, let us do the suggesting here. Mm -hmm. And then I said, we give you permission to spread those pictures all over yeah. <laughs> any yeah. media outlet you might, any magazine. We give you permission to just spread those pictures. Yeah. Like, yeah, she yeah. recognized royalty. It was just simple as that. She saw nobility and she wanted to capture that image because that's how they were captivated by us ages ago. It is all a remembrance process. We are living in multiple now. Man fell to gratify his lower self, period. It's part of the natural process. You learn this in the Nature of Nature Science, written by Afro Woman. You learn this in the um, Bible interpret interpretations and explanations written by Amanubi Ruatata. And um, you start to understand, you start to understand the opposites of nature. And when nature is in its hell half, the people that were in its heaven half have to fall. But obviously the people in the heaven have all the progenitors of all things that come after. Man had to fall to gratify his lower self. And in that fall, the vibrations of the ethers became slower and slower, which became denser and denser. And that's why our people are more athletic, more flexible, save Chinese people, even though you know they start at birth. However, the more you start to see the vibration slowing, you start see, seeing the hue change to a lighter hue and to one with no rhythm was produced. He can't even do the Carlton dance. It's just, you know, I'm not speaking out, I'm just, you know, keeping it official with, with the harmonics of the universe right now in our science. So, but you know, interesting session, definitely. Definitely. It's like uh, <clears throat> when, when we're dealing with that uh, all, all of those vibrations, the number one vibration that everybody missing out in on is synchronicity. You know what I'm saying? And that's nationality. <laughs> See, you know what I'm saying? Like the whole point is, is that if we want to get the commerce correct, you know, because at the end of the day, everybody uh, is going to believe what they're going to believe. Everybody's going to think what they're going to think and call the creator what they're going to call the creator. However, what Nobu Ali left is way more simple, simpler to unify along certain basic customs that we had, tying this into certain things that already belong to us while still leaving room for it to even grow like it did. This is why everybody that came after him was able to build using those principles, but they always left the main ingredient out. They left the nationality out. Why did everybody leave the nationality out? I'll tell you why, because nobody wants to govern you That's the reality, not even the outlet. He'd rather get rid of your creating computers so that he don't have to govern you no more. That's right. And your leaders don't really want to govern you because if they did, you know, as it was said, the laws have never did nothing without the point of a sword. That's right. So the fact is, is, you know, the people got to come to terms and come to grips with themselves and get over themselves that uh, they're going to have to humble themselves to the real solution unless they just all are suicidal in thought process. Like, I really think that our people haven't been diagnosed with suicidal behavior. And then they say, oh, you know, this comes this comes from the abuse of slavery. It's like, I mean, that's being a prisoner of war. You can't find slave ships, but you can find prison ships from the 1800s, 1700s, 1600s. You can find that, you see what I'm saying? There was wars, and we lost the war just like 
all great military powers rules sure. are internal fight and stretching resources too thin and leaders who were too intent on their own lower selves satisfaction their own personal to morals grat to gratify their lower self yeah you see what i'm saying that's what these leaders have done all throughout history as to why we got to be here now so i don't know why anybody feels a personal attachment to anybody that came before them other than accepting who they say they are and what they brought and what's utilized for them. You know, when you approach that, you know, this I can find the I can find the reasons for the things you know what Joe Ali says when I'm just looking at it, applying it in simple life. Not even not even in deep life or anything like that. Just simple life where it says, okay, that's just good for business. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And people that are not business minded need to get over themselves and become business minded because that's the only way you're not going to be somebody else's slave. Because I don't know why everybody's so personal about slavery and it's the same thing as employment. And y'all all know it, especially when you go and you know what I mean, you go and slave for the Albions, you know what I'm saying, without, <laughs> without making any moves to be away from that. You can't never say you're going to work <clears throat> and you're going to, you know, run your business on the side. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to choose one or the other or you're going to find a way as a more to use your company to contract with your company. The company that you work for, you find a way to contract. If you work for the company and you know that this company got this particular need or this particular thing, then why not make a company and contract as an uh, independent contractor as other companies do for the same company you work for? You see what I'm saying? Like, you got to turn your situation around to work for you. That's what makes you God. When you learn the science of deal making and you don't know how to make deals properly if you don't know who you are because you don't know what you are supposed to get out of a deal just off a of basic basic exchange. Check the breakdown. It says a man's eye deals is his God. Mm. Just talking about deals. Mm. <laughs> just yeah. saying, you become your own. Come yeah. On. Like, like, it's, it's, just, it's right there. It's, you know, this is not rocket science. This is not no real heavy, heavy stuff. This is pure common sense. I mean, yeah, it's, 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 it's put into practice and application where you got to say, look, you know, we trying to get somewhere. And where we need to get, we're going to need resources. How do we get the resources? How do we protect the resources and how do we get in position to be able to protect the resources? Because evidently, if you make a move that is just not a good move to make, it's going to send alarms that you don't want to send off. That's right. So the fact is, if people are talking about, you know, what are you going to do when martial law kicks in place? You know what I'm saying? Like, for anybody that's lived in the uh, the, uh, the ghetto, quote unquote, like martial law shouldn't be nothing new to you. Like I don't understand. Like <laughs> really? I don't understand what is the big scare. Like they outside, outside your door, door right now. Yeah. They it's outside the your door right now. Anticipation for like a new album coming out. They martial law, mm -hmm. martial law. Mm -hmm. It's a new album coming, highly anticipated. That's mm -hmm. what it is because it's like and it's like. Jay-Z giving you the same bars that he gave you uh -huh. 10 years ago. Oh, it's just really? called martial law. Now. Yeah, you yeah. notice they never asked the question, what are y'all going to do, you know, if the world goes through a cataclysm? What do you have in place if the world just, you know what I'm saying, you know, a, a, a great cataclysm happens? The prophet came and gave us, gave us clues on what to do. Yeah, he didn't tell us to go... He didn't necessarily, he told, he told some practical things. Pretty much. You know, he didn't say Warehouses. Go, he didn't say go, go, go get shams. You know what I'm saying? 
go turn yourself into a sham. Yeah. And I'm not saying that we don't have latent powers mm -hmm. to be able to activate certain supernatural powers. That's not the point. But if it didn't happen in slavery, I doubt that the slavery that everybody says happened, mm -hmm. and we had to go through that, I don't think that all of a sudden it's going to kick in now. Because I don't see a difference between the complete, like, we're just at the end of a decline. Like, we don't have anywhere to go other than complete obliteration as a people, or we're going to fix the world's problems. We, of all people, cannot at this time afford to be one of the complainers. We can't. Like, you can't, you got, you know what I'm saying? Oh, we just supposed to forgive the, the, the white man for, uh, like, ain't got nothing to do with that. We don't care about him. We like, doing what we got to do for us. It, but it don't, it don't even got to do anything about that. The fact is, you live on this planet with people that don't look like you, and some, or maybe a lot of them, do look like you. So naturally, you should be dealing with primarily the people that look like you. Right. The people that look like you are majority of the people. So y'all should secure most of the resources. Right. And y'all should be getting together to make sure that y'all secure things for y'all progeny and posterity. It's simple mathematics. For everybody who keeps talking about supreme mathematics, well, you gotta build. If you're gonna build, this is how you do it. It's simple. You know what I'm saying? We got to make sure that if we are uh, to move forward as a people, the only way we're going to be able to do that is under one banner. And then we can be everything else. Because being that one thing, you know, allows you, it's like they think being black, you know, I'm not even going to go back to that. But my whole point is, is that we have to take the application of standard business practices and the layout for that as far as how to how to be a better like everything you would need that an upright nation would need like don't let's get it not confused people look to the u.s as the holy country god bless america is what they was running with the christians so there's supposed to be a moral standard that the world expects from the U.S. I'm not saying we're supposed to be reflecting for that or indicative, uh, indicative of that or anything. I'm just saying that we're supposed to be the ones that if the prophet said we're a clean and pure nation, then the only way to do that is to solve the world's problems. You can't say that you are God or goddess and all these other things and you're just complaining about what's being done. God won't complain about oppression. God's going to do something about it. Because if there's remedy in certain levels of existence for it, then it's called the exhaustion method. Don't start with just saying, okay, I'm going to try this, and if this fail, I'm going to. If you go, it's like if you're going to keep, it's like people who talk about that and do that are just like the people who got beat up in the street and just for chops. You know what I'm saying? They just got beat much. up and they took the, they took the ass <laughs> over. You gotta go exhaust to get the remedy that you want, you know what I'm saying? I mean, look at the example he was building on earlier. When you go to a debate, as soon as you walk in the door, you can see all the vendors. You see all the vendors. None of the vendors and I, you know, I'm guessing here, I'm guessing here. But if I had to, you know, assert, I would say that none of them do business with each other. Some people might say, no, nah, that ain't true. I just got some books from some the other day. Here's some BBD. And I'll be vending too. That's business. <laughs> really though. Really though. Where's the, can I see proof of the transaction? Did your business credit go up when y'all exchange invoices? Or when you were given an invoice? Yo, you know what Did you? I mean, did, who, did whoever you get it from, did they gain from the transaction? That's business. Not just gaining 
in your pocket because credit and credibility is the same exact thing. And in order to uh, establish business credibility, you have to think how business think, how a business would think. It's an entity, it's a spirit being, period. And the people, the people feed the entity. They make it function. If you got all of these vendors, they need to be contracting with each other. There's no need for two or three dudes to have their own video. Now, you know, know the ledge, TV, uh, the house of consciousness, uh, you know, all of these, I even throw in the Rahamaki guy. You know, all of these people have all of these different channels. They won't consolidate and create a company and say, let us look past the little small thing. I mean, y'all don't even agree on being black and y'all protect because y'all scream unity all the time. It's like, yo, that would be deep though. <laughs> think about it though. No, think about it. I want you to think about it. at least, like just for just for those people who would be listening to this, you gotta think about that. Like, just for those people, you gotta think about that. Because the fact is, is how, uh, like, if they formed a company, a media company, you see what I'm saying? That represented each one of their channels, even with the opposing mm -hmm. points of views. That's right. And and controversy sells. That's right. MSNBC, NBC, right. yeah. CNN, C. Why C would all feathers of the same bird? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Why wouldn't they consolidate that? Now, of course, they can consolidate with Last Generation Media, yeah. LLC, legally, lawfully, already incorporated. But the whole point is. The whole point is, is that if they mm -hmm. were serious about taking what they're doing to the next level and legitimizing it, why wouldn't they form that conglomerate? You know why? Because they, some, some of them greedy, some of them lazy. Like, I mean. Don't believe in themselves. Yeah, exactly. Or they just want to be individuals. individuals. That's the whole root of it. Because all, all of these, they got different brands. Look, I can't chip up my nerves. Can't chip them. <laughs> really? You know what I'm saying? They don't want to chip their nerve. They don't want to get in there. in front of the camera. You so know what I'm saying? Like all you do, they a lot of these people don't even understand. This is why a lot of a lot of you we had to just come and shut it, shut you down. Shut you down. <laughs> because the fact is, what you're playing with is global consciousness. People are really paying attention to what our people have to say right now, it's particularly because. There's a, uh, uh, you know, yeah, you know, but the president is, uh, you know, he has, you know, Muslim heritage, you know, he got, uh, you know, Kenyan roots, you know what I'm saying, Albion roots, that whole dynamic, uh, people are really paying, you know, he, him choosing to classify himself under federal rank of 15 is black, you know, all of these things have some kind of, you know, some kind of ramification to it, so, you know, a lot of people are paying attention to what our people are talking about. And based on that, you have these people who are in a venue and they're really spewing hate when they have a plan, when they already did that. Like, so how much can up. you, yeah, how much can you keep saying, hate the white man before you start doing something for your people? Like, I mean, irregardless of how you feel, Y'all are still going out working for him. You're still buying his products because you're All not that making that money. It. I mean, there's no yeah. accountability. Let's talk about that. You know, let's talk about, you know, well, we, we already touched on, you know, how you maintain that accountability by consolidating. That's right. You know what I mean? <laughs> let's, let's talk about the fact that the very same person that you claim to hate so much is the person that's eating the most off of this movement. Yeah, like, see, that's one of the things I want, examples I want to make. They won't unify it. You know what I'm saying? They won't unify it. So, 
instead of unifying, they rather do it as individuals. But you know who will come and do that? The Albion and the Congress, right? And say, I'm going I'm to I'm sign deals with all of you guys. Let you put your stuff out on our, uh, you know, our media. Yeah, like entity. rappers, they'll yeah. get raped. Exactly. I mean, and that's not even the <laughs> principle. And they're competing with each other, making the one entity more money because of the in-house controversy. Yeah. And the principle would have been violated because we're saying we have last generation media for you to run, for you to work for, or for you to not to not build to up. Work for. We can legitimize. Look, this how I, if we go up and put a deal to you guys. Look, we we'll put a deal. Let me get. Let me tell you like this. We can wrap up this whole. You know, even if y'all don't like Moors, whatever the case may be, even That's if big. you don't like me personally, That's the big. whole point is, the deal is, this is what we can do to make bread collectively while you still even in your black status. That's right. You know what I'm saying? What we gonna do is, what we could do is. You know, we got last generation media already, you know, form, uh, you know, a lot of things coming with it, putting it together. It's going to be big time, huge, you get warehouses, we're going to make moves. If you want to be a part of that, what you need to do is come on and get with us and holler at us, and then what you'll see is that we'll help get you an entity, get it set up properly, and then we'll do projects. We'll make a contract and we'll do specific projects. Right. And we have financing methods and we can also help you get financing methods and you know get business financing and credit like that. And we can really make some money out of it. Right. That's what we can do if y'all really serious. Now, you know, this is irregardless if you hate Moors to the point where you want to blame from slavery, whatever, cool. Right. The fact is, there's a venue for all of our discussions and debate. If we allow the Albans to do what they did to the rappers, you gotta say no more. They raped them, like that was the last rapage, the way they raped hip hop. Yeah. You know, if hip hop is a female, they really raped her horrible. They gang banged her, that's what they did to her. They, they, they air dry it right now. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> So the they industry is collapsing. <laughs> so we can't allow the knowledge that are coming from us to be captured the same way that's done. Sure. Because even when y'all talking about black and African history and the great this, that, and third, even though the identity of the people is messed up, the information as far as inventions, as far as certain things being practiced at this day, all of this stuff is intercorrelated. So we, we try to raise the same people. The debate is about the identity. You see what I'm saying? So when we look at the discrepancy, we hone it in and saying this is the debate. Right. The debate is the identity. Right. Let's make money off of that debate. And out of that debate, one of us is going to win. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And, and right. it's just true, you know, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice to the That's victim. Right. You see right. what I'm saying? That's but right. the whole point is, if we really trying to be serious and grown men about, you know, both sides and all of us as Moors and, you know, people that's even saying they black, y'all got to meet us halfway. If not, y'all got to meet us like, you know, 25% of the way because we're already offering you a way to get your bread right. And that's a tribute to you to say, listen, that's how serious we are. We can help you get your money right. So we doing that. And those that don't want to fall in line, then we offer you to a debate. What are you willing to give up? Are you willing to give up your blackness? Are you willing to give up your father's sin nation? Your, you know, not in that sense because we learned our lesson. Oh, they gotta do. But are you willing to? Are you willing to? Are you willing to give up the vice? This is how you know if a person is real or not, because we learn to put your money where your mouth is. Mm -hmm. If you come to a debate with me, any one of the noses, collectively, you bring five, we bring five. <laughs> collectively. Mm -hmm. Would you sign a contract that says if I lose, I'm joining the Morris Science Temple, I'm regaining my nationality, I'm going with these brothers to make business moves. Pretty much get up out this hell. Are you willing 
to make that type of deal. You have to ask yourself that. Because if you ask me, are you willing to make that type of deal? Well, I just made that type of deal. That I would drop everything that I'm doing if you can prove this wrong. Not just the doctrine, but how it will work for our people, period. On a, on a whole level. Are you willing to go there? Are you, yo, in a, in a jungle, a male lion may be the head of the tribe. But there may be another male that come in. They, they roll like three deep, the males in the pride. You know, when they, you know, when they leave, they, they click up. And that one male come dominate you. He now has your pride, playing a whole new bloodline. So I'm like this. I approach you as a lion in the jungle right now. Are you willing to meet up on the field and put whatever it is that you're into on the line? That's how you really solve the problem. Because that's what we do. We, we grew up fighters. We always fighters. And you know, sometimes the only way to remedy the situation was that you had to get your knuckles dirty. Just, it's just, just what it was. That was the only remedy to the situation. So now I'm saying, let's fight different this time. Let's fight on the mental plane. And if you lose, you have to agree that what you were into didn't work because you wouldn't have lost the debate in the first place. I mean, you got to come on. And now let's, let's grow, let's grow. That's it, that's the only other, that's the only other option. I can't give you a hug after a debate. You still went where you went. I still went where I went. And nothing changed, nothing happened. Just no, I mean, what happened after the debate? We can run down a list of debates, a list of lectures, but specifically the debates. What happened after them? the last big debate? Oh, the brothers gave each other a hug. I see no connectivity after that. I mean, well, nothing I mean, done. The, the, the thing is, it's like you know, without even without even having to go that far with them, you know, if we're going to debate, let's properly make money off that, off that show that, like oh, yeah, Mayweather's Mayweather split bread. That's right. He beat the fool out of Shane Mosley. But they had to make a deal to both make money. That's right. Like my whole point That's is, right. is that That's right. while we going through the wrong pains of uh, you know building the nation, the fact is the women and children don't have to suffer while life goes on. That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We can do that civilly and intelligently. You know what I'm saying? Like you could all just be some really high paid black people who. Yeah. Who who the Albians don't want to mess with because y'all really in with some really really powerful wars, you know. At best, you know, if y'all don't want to cross that line, that could be the relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like if you know that doesn't get in the way of me selling you bananas and you selling me mangoes. Like that should get in the way an issue about what we calling ourselves. The issue will come when you are faced with the fact that whatever you have as a black man belongs to somebody else. That's right. Then you'll say, "Damn, Moors, can you help me?" That's right. And then that's when we'll say, "Okay, look, this is what you do. I already fill out this application, <laughs> and uh, we got it." That's right. So at best, that's what this could be. If we're serious about really working with each other, that's the that's the that's the playing field. That's the level that we'll have to deal with each other and say, look, you know, y'all want to make movies about God. We want to make movies about the prophet. We want to make movies about the laws. Y'all want to make movies about Queen the Zing and all that. Like, we can do that. Let's get it done. <laughs> Y'all are the ones that's running around trying to throw salt and throw dirt on our names and what we're doing and always oh, got something bad to say. Like, we're out here, look, the prophet said it take finance to uplift the nation. 
So throughout all the debacle and all the discussion, there has to be some realistic understanding that we don't have to be broke doing that. Anybody right. producing a broke state of mind or mentality or ideology saying that, yeah, you know, we are, uh, you know, we poor righteous teachers, or we, we, we dig being poor, like we a man and, you know, we ain't supposed to have nothing. If that's the case, you know what I'm saying, then you should just go commit suicide. Straight up. Because poverty is a, is, is a state of mind, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Right. And you know, when you're talking about an impoverished mind, this mind cannot produce anything that is gonna be of value. Only its sweat equity for its master will produce, you know, the necessities for value in society. The whole point is, is that if we got these differences, we can meet at the table and still agree to make bread and break bread. And that's just the bottom line because the Jews don't like the Irish, the Irish don't like Italians, Italians don't like British, French don't like Germans, Germans don't like Russians, you know, but, you know, they still collectively work together. That's right. That's Not right. every Albion's a British. Not every Albion's a German. Not every Albion's an Italian. You see what I'm saying? So the whole point is, is that, you know, when we, you know, at least you guys should have the respect to say that when you deal with the entire world, you won't present yourself as black knowing what that means. Even if you want to still secretly use it behind closed doors like nigga or black, even though if you do that, that's a testament to your character and lack of ability to, I'm just saying, if you want to be a shyster, with it and say, you know what, I really don't want to deal with this, but I see I have to. You know, you do what you got to do. Like, I was watching Law of War. The dude, Nicholas Cage's father, converted to Judaism. He wasn't a Jew. He was a Serbian or something like that. And he converted to Judaism. He was dressed like a Jew. He had books. He was going to the synagogues change this whole format up. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. The whole point is is that, you know, there's a format, like you can't get nowhere being something other than what you are. Sure. I'm saying we can make bread. Sure. I'm saying pretty much. You know what I mean? I think I'm I don't think they still gonna find an excuse for it. <laughs> so let me go to Facebook and see what Nev said today so I can start an argument with it. Right, yeah. Let me go see what that Aboriginal law posted. <laughs> so I can make a, uh, you know what I mean? Make a grievance and get it against it. 